Twitter is on fire today because uh, Padawan by Kirsten White came out on Tuesday. And if you are on anywhere on Twitter, you'll see that Obi-Wan was trending. And it, I think the, the provenance of the fire comes from a New York Post tweet that says, or that, that has a picture of a passage from the Padawan book, uh, along with their tweet that says, Star Wars suggests that Obi-Wan is bisexual. Chapter 16, um, minor, minor spoiler, I guess. Um, Obi-Wan is speaking to someone and talking about another relationship. And they say, I will admit I've been curious about kissing and why Aj and Zebri enjoy it so much, which is which are other characters. So if you're ever curious too, let me know. Obi-Wan blushed. I will let you know. I mean, not that I will do that right now with you or anyone. And so before we get into the reactions, we are joined by a special guest on Dyad Reacts today, and that is Kiki. A bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> that is suspect. Um, why don't you introduce yourself to any, uh, to any of our viewers that are unfamiliar? Uh, hello, my name is Kiki. I live in the Pacific Northwest and I talk a lot about nerd culture stuff on Twitter and on TikTok. Where exactly can they follow you on TikTok? Black P and W Lady on TikTok. Or my backup is Black Lady Kiki. The, the reaction to this on Twitter is quite mixed, of course. You've got pro and you've got con, but of course, I'm just gonna say this before I pass it on to you guys to react. I, you know what? It's hard for me to believe that in a galaxy full of thousands of species of aliens, it's hard for me to believe that anyone is not pansexual at the very least. The the plethora of hot aliens that we see, you know, we've got people simping for Thrawn. In a galaxy where people can move stuff with their mind, why are you upset that there's a queer person existing? Like, that's really my ultimate question. Like, why is this, you know, in your little space opera fantasy that somebody made back in the 1970s, why is this absolutely destroying it for you that there's a queer person existing? Like, queer people actually helped build this freaking franchise. I was, you know, l lucky enough to be able to get an advanced copy of the book. Um, but someone else who also had an advanced copy had posted about this already. So I even made a TikTok saying, please don't spoil a bunch of stuff before you know like we're supposed to talk about it but this is you know, what they were talking about it and i was disappointed when i got to this portion in the book because it's so not explicit it leaves a lot up to interpretation it's like i'm a i'm so focused on being a jedi i've never really even stopped to want anything with anyone i haven't put much thought into it and so there's people who were like hey maybe he's demisexual and he's only into sateen later on maybe he's ace this book has left it to where any of those could be a possibility like it's the most disney thing ever in my opinion because it's it's not it's not committing to representation it's leaving just enough open so that those people you know if if you are queer you can see yourself in this character without mm -hmm. confirming anything you know what i mean it's the whole valkyrie thing all over again it's my um, it's it's yeah, it's a prime example, in my opinion, of queer baiting. We didn't openly say he's queer, but we hinted that he might. And we don't know. We don't know. It's open to interpretation. We don't know. And it's like, it's 2022. But l let me ask you guys a question. Let's say he is, you know, canonically bisexual now. What does that change about him or his journey or what he's done? It makes his really, like, it might make some of the fanfics with Maul a little bit more interesting now that we know that. <laughs> I mean, we got canon confirmation that. that maybe, maybe they could have. Uh, but there was a there was a reply in the Twitter thread uh, saying, "I thought he w I thought he loved Satine. It doesn't change anything at all. He still loved Satine, and if there were a thing there, it still would have happened." The only thing shocking to me about people's sexuality in Star Wars is that we don't see more sentience banging droids. Because I feel like <laughs> it, it would have I mean, happened. Yeah. I'm am sure I, am I, that, I, 
<laughs> I'm sure wrong. that exists. It's just when somebody, like, when you told me about that, they're like, but I thought he loves Satine. I'm like, you know what? Like, this is even worth even bothering over. Like, this level of, like, shallow thinking. Like, no. Like, the, you, you can't even do any level of stretching your mind to <laughs> how he could love Satine. But also, like, Amanda, like, I don't understand how this could be true. But also, this could be true. It's like, and then suddenly, like, the X Files music plays in your head. Like, <laughs> no, at this point, I'm not even gonna try to explain it to you. You're that far gone. You're That's that far the gone. meme with all the math. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, wait, wait, wait a second. You're eating pizza, but I thought you like hamburgers. Don't know. Doesn't compute. Somebody's been lying. <laughs> yeah, it's. I, I, I don't know. Mixed race people exist within Star Wars, right? Kanan and Hera? Kanan and Hera's son is mixed. There's a lot of people that would throw themselves at Obi-Wan to begin with. And I just, I operate off of the default position that Obi-Wan would get with anyone. <laughs> I mean, if, if that were in the cards. I mean, I've, for years, I've been jokingly saying, I'm like, come on now, like, Anakin Skywalker is some chaotic bisexual energy. Like, and people were like, what? And I'm like, Chaotic bisexual. That's my my head canon. Is that Anakin is bisexual? Could be. Yeah. It's got that chaotic energy that all bisexuals have. Like, yeah. Anakin is just a himbo to me. You know, like my ultimate my ultimate question, like the kind of thing that I always feel when these conversations pop up, they're, co they're coming so often now. Like, why are there black people in Star Wars? Why are there Asian people in Star? Wars? Why are there queer people in Star Wars? And I'm like, you know, I think eventually the answer really should just be. I'm sorry you don't like it. Too bad, so sad. Either get over it or leave. Like, let's not even, like, we don't have to sit here and constantly have to justify the existence of BIPOC people, queer people in a fantasy world. We can just be like, if you don't like it, then you can fucking leave. Well, and then the other thing that you can also consider is, like, you know, if we if we jump back, you know, uh, we, we are all roughly the same age, but so if we, if you remember when we were growing up watching Nick at Night, um, all of those shows what did we have when the mom and dad went to bed? Two separate beds. Uh, because you couldn't show people sleeping in the same bed on TV. Now, that that's that was a social taboo once upon a time. After that, we progressed beyond that. And that progression is going to continue because the media that people are consuming is going to reflect the reality of, you know, I mean, it's it's stuff that's based here in the U United States or with creators from the U.S. largely. So yeah. it's going to continue to reflect the reality of the United States. And so we leave you guys with that much to think about over the course of, I don't know, like the next two weeks. I'll give you that much time to think about it. Is is Obi-Wan bisexual or is he, is he just open to the galaxy? I'm not bisexual, but I probably would have given a similar response though. If a guy's like, hey, if you ever want to kiss, I'm like, I'll let you know. That, yeah. That was my initial reading of that of that passage, and I and I and I um, QRT'd that that tweet saying that it's just like I think at the at, at the most basic reading of that passage, he is just saying, "I will let you know, and anyone else, if I try to go for it." <laughs> well, and it's also, but it's also it's so annoying because it's like. Well, is he or not? We don't know. Because <laughs> it gives, it gives. Frankly, it gives Lucasfilm and Disney an easy out. If they yeah, want to be like, mm, well, actually, he just didn't want to, which, which is fair. Like, if he didn't want to kiss nobody. He didn't want to kiss nobody. That's completely fair too. But then to also kind of leave it in this gray area of like, I don't know, is he? <laughs> you know. And then like twenty years, we get this weird confirmation in an interview for someone at who's like yeah obi-wan was queer and we actually referenced it in that book that happens you know, all too often obi-wan kenobi is still obi-wan kenobi he still loves Satine, um and it changes nothing about his character uh other than perhaps you know open to interpretation you know opening things up for representation in that regard but either way it doesn't really change much about canon uh i saw some people saying that this was a retcon when not i mean sexuality isn't something that is canon for people like there's it's not there's not like a section in the star wars book that confirms people's 
Sexualities, so there's no retcon happening there. Um, nothing changed about information we knew about Obi-Wan, so I think you guys just need to chill, relax, and just accept that people exist. I really enjoyed this book, and it was a beautiful microcosm of what the Force is, and what balance in the Force means. Like, there's so much stuff to glean from this book. It really gives you insight into Anakin's thoughts, how fear affects Jedi. He had the fear of failure, which became the fear of fear itself if you have a reaction to this news then get the book and read it for yourself don't let other people decide for you we are going to cover padawan more in detail tonight at 5 p.m pacific on diet in the forest uh, so be sure to check that out and tune in live um where we'll be joined by star wars english class fern and julia christine to talk about the very book but with that said i think uh i think uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to turn on notifications. But that is the end. On to the next one. For light and for life. We're all the Republic. And may the Force be with you. Hey. <laughs>